Hello, everybody, and welcome to another segment of Good Sports. I'm Mike Lowe, and joined today by Tom Chad, veteran high school sports writer of the Portland Press Arrow. But, Tommy, today we're going to start by talking about the uh, Boston Red Sox going for a uh, third World Series championship since 2004, something that you and I would never have dreamed no, of. No, we never would imagine it. We just, uh, when we were growing up... Uh, we were beating dogs when we were growing they, up, Tommy. You know, they got in the 67 World Series and fell short in seven games to the Cardinals, but... And we never, after 86, I said, that's it. They're never going to win a World Series in our lifetime. And now they're gonna, they have a chance to win three in the last 10 years. And, you know, the, the World Series started Thursday, and obviously Red Sox having a big uh, game one victory. Uh, John Lester pitched well. They, they benefited from the uh, umpires getting together or versa what would have been a bad call. Um, these things you don't, that, that you don't see often, Tommy, when the umpires get together. No, um, hardly ever see it. And, in fact, I heard a, someone say on the radio that they didn't like to do it, you know, back in the day because it was it would have shown the, you know, the umpires up if, uh, you know, they actually missed a call. But uh, thankfully, they conferred and um, got got the call right because it would have gone down if it had stayed. It's one of the worst World Series calls of all time. It would have been, it you know, and instead the Red Sox got three runs in the first inning and that jump started the victory. I, I think the amazing thing about this team, Tommy, is where they came from. You know, oh, it's incredible. It's a team. Horrible team in, in uh, you know, 2012, and, and then they bring in all these new guys, Johnny Gomes, Mike Napoli, Koji Uehara, uh, and, and they just turned the, the atmosphere around on that team and, and obviously now going for another world championship. I think it starts with, starts with a manager, uh, John Farrell, just a completely different uh, personality than uh, Bobby Valentine, um, and the players are more relaxed. They want to play for him, and that makes a big difference, and plus the new the new guys that have come in have really had uh, really had great seasons. They have. Now the, the series continues in St. Louis on uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and then maybe back at Fenway Park for Game Six and Seven. But uh, your thoughts, Tommy? Are they are they going to do it? Are they going to win a third World uh, Championship? I think they're a team of destiny. I, I just really do. The way how the season how they turned around from last year, and everyone's uh, seemed to have banner years, and uh, they always have a little stick with you know. Uh, you know, this year it's the beard, and uh, I just think uh, they're going to win it. I, I don't think they're going to sweep the Cardinals, but I think um, they may win it. I, I think they'll come back to Boston, but if they win this next game, I think they're going to win it in St. Louis, I would think. Is your local school or group looking to raise money? Our goal here at Maine Athletic Fundraising is to raise your program or group the most amount of money possible in the shortest amount of time, hassle-free. Over the last three years, we've been able to raise over $10,000 every year which has really allowed us to get the extra stuff the kids really need to run a successful program. One of our biggest goals at Maine Athletic Fundraising is to really develop a relationship on the ground um, with the coaches, the community, and the boosters that are involved and help bring them together. Okay. We're going to switch gears right now, folks. We're going to talk about some high school football. Uh, final regular, regular season, uh, Tommy, a couple of big rivalry games. You'll be at both of them. Uh, Portland, South Portland, and uh, uh, Biddeford Thornton Academy. Uh, what's, your, what, what's your take on, on the rivalries in, in these uh, in high, at the high school level? We've got some great ones. You just mentioned two of them. Um, you've got uh, E.L. Lewis, Edward Little Lewiston, uh, Coney Gardner. Uh, and they're Mark, all playing this weekend, too. And they're all playing this weekend, too. Um, the rivalries are a great way uh, for these teams to get into the playoff because the the intensity is just like a playoff game mm -hmm. because of the tradition. And Portland, South Portland, they're going to the playoffs. Bit uh, bit of it, they're going, going to the playoffs. And Lewis and Edward Little are going to the playoffs, to mention three in Class A that have been We're around, say that there are been around forever. We're not going to say there are too many teams going into the playoffs, are we, Tommy? No, no, no. Only <laughs> because there, listen, there are too many teams going to the playoffs. Okay, let's just throw that you out. You think there. there are? I think there are. I, I don't think six out of eight teams should make the playoffs. Okay, well, yeah, I know. mean. But, but that's my, my personal. One year, South Portland came from eight and, uh, and won it. And won it. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand that. But, you know, your number one team in each region is going to be Shevers and Bonnie Eagle. One year, it came yeah. from fifth yeah. and won it. Well, I don't mind fighting. Yeah, see, I'm just. But anyway, the, the rivalry games, Tommy. You've covered enough of them over the years. How much anticipation is there for the kids going into these games? I mean, oh, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's something. Okay, the playoffs are great, and that's what you play for. But the rivalry games are what you talk about when you're old and gray like we are. I mean, um, I still remember mine. And you're still, uh, and because you, you stay in a lot of them, keep, kids stay in the, in the uh, same town, and the other kids from the other team are around, and you 
beat up, and it's a, it's a topic of conversation for many years to come. And, and you know, I, again, I grew up in Massachusetts. We had Thanksgiving Day games, which, which is something that, unfortunately, they don't have up here. Uh, so really, these rivalry games... Except for of, one. Except for one, the Portland <laughs> Daring game, yes. But these rivalry games are really the equivalent of, a, of Massachusetts Thanksgiving Day games, because that's a game we all remember. Oh, that's yeah. a game we talk about, you know. And, uh, you know, it's just it's a great way, as you said, a great way to end the regular season, head into the playoffs. And, you know, we're going to be busy for the next uh, several weekends, the two of us. Definitely, yeah. Friday, Saturday, Friday night, Saturday afternoons. All right, folks, we got to wrap it up. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll be back next week with another Good Sports.